What is up my YouTube friends? I did a video a while ago about removing the background in OBS without a green screen. Apparently the plugin crashes a lot for some people, especially on a Mac. Well, I definitely don't want to leave those folks hanging. And there is another way to remove your background in OBS without a green screen and it won't crash. So let's get to it. My analytics say that 80% of the folks that watch my content are not subscribed. Am I doing something wrong? If so, let me know in the comments. But if you are looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. It's totally free. Today's video is sponsored by Envato Placeit. Placeit is a marketplace for all kinds of video and graphic assets for your videos and your live streams. Now I created all my live streaming video assets using Envato Placeit. My countdown timer, my branding bumper, the guest wait screen, ending and start screens were all created with Envato Placeit. And they all use my logo, which was created in Placeit too. Placeit has hundreds of awesome video templates to choose from. And then you can modify them by choosing different colors, texts, and text fonts, adding segments, music, and even changing the speed of each segment to create your own epic scenes. This gives you an infinite number of video possibilities for your streams and videos. So please click that link in the description and check out Envato Placeit for yourself. If you have the means, supporting the sponsors that support the channel is a great way to keep me making content that helps you. So thanks. This is a really easy process. First, I'm gonna install the program that's gonna remove our background. Second, I'm gonna show you how to set it up and find the proper lens to add our green screen so we can easily remove it even though we don't have one. Third, I'm gonna show you how to configure OBS to receive the camera and remove the green screen background. Now, unlike the simple plugin that I showed you in the last video about removing your background without a green screen, this one has some system requirements. So if your system is super old or it doesn't have a graphics card, the software may tell you sorry, but your machine isn't good enough. And if you're getting this message, it's likely that streaming from that machine is going to have a lot of other issues as well, like lag and audio sync problems. So it might be time for you to just update your system. Let's go ahead and install Snap Camera on your system. The link is in the description and it's totally free. Here we are on the Snap Camera website and this is totally free. So all you need to do is click on that download button right there. Now here you can see there are hardware requirements. If you do not meet this, it will not let you use the green screen feature. So just be aware. And if you're on the low end of that, it may not really work all that well. So be aware of that. And you click this button right here. You click I am not a robot and download for Mac or PC shows up. I'm going to download for my PC and save the file. I'm going to find the file on my hard drive, double click it and click OK on the box that you can't see. And then we're just going to next and then next and create a shortcut and install. And now our snap camera is going to install on our computer. And then we click OK and finish. We can launch snap camera if we keep that checked and it will come right up. It's that simple to install the snap camera. That's easy stuff. Now let's set it up to work with our camera. Okay, so if we look down here in the system tray, this little circle here means our snap camera is open. So we're gonna go up and click the gear in the top right. We're going to choose our camera. I'm gonna just drop this down and select my cam link. You can see our frames per second and our resolution is right there. We wanna select our audio output, which is going to be our microphone from our cam link. There are some other settings that you can set up here. You can have snap camera run right when the system starts or not depending upon what you like You can also turn the hotkeys on and off down here so that you can turn your lenses on and off In this case if you turned your lens off It would turn off the green screen and you would just see your normal background So that's a thing although you would have a filter on it So it'd look weird So we're gonna go back and I'm just gonna go down into the search lenses and I'm gonna type green screen And I like this one here I will leave a link to these lenses in the description, but I do like this green screen lens right here. It's 
seems like it works really well. And you can see on there, it says select an image. So all I did was use a free software to create a 1920 by 1080 green background. And that's what that is right there. And boom, now we have a green background. You can see we have a created green screen and it looks pretty good. So you can click the little star right next to these to save them up into your saved profile settings makes them really easy to find and there is another green screen one in here right there green screen background which I will also share the link for I don't think it's quite as good but you may have different results than I do I will give you the option of using either one or finding your own every time you load this one up though you do have to load that chroma background in there but I think it provides some pretty awesome results all right now all we have to do is configure it in OBS. Now all we have to do is set this up in OBS and I have a scene here with a video already playing. So I'm just gonna click the plus. I'm gonna go to video capture device. I'm just gonna call this device camera and click okay. And I'm gonna drop that device down and select my snap camera. So you can see we get our green screen background. I'm gonna change the default device to custom and select 1920 by 1080. And then under use custom audio device, I'm going to select my correct microphone in this case my cam link microphone then I'm gonna click OK so now we have a background with a green screen but we don't actually have a green screen I'm sure you know that we're gonna right click on camera go to filters and then click the plus and we're gonna select chroma key and click OK and you can see you don't really have to do much here it looks pretty good right out of the box which is just awesome you can fiddle around with the settings if you feel like you need to if you're getting some green ghosting around your edges or something like that you can adjust your settings settings but for this particular lens it doesn't seem like it's necessary so there we go once we click OK you can see it looks pretty good it looks clear it's not funky as long as you're not going to be making a whole heck of a lot of movement this is going to work absolutely fantastic and we'll load one up in here too I just have to click the plus go to video capture device I can just select the camera that's already there and it's going to have our filters in it already so we're already green screened out I'm going to move this over here I'm going to drag my camera down a little little bit so it's below the titles and I want my media source my little video there to be above me and move this down here and we'll drag our video source up and there we go see that looks pretty cool that's a really simple scene right there using a green screen that's not a green screen and super easy now you don't have to leave this open you can close it out and the reason why you can do this is if you look down here in the system tray it's still running we're still using snap camera it will take that camera and use it so you don't have to have it physically opened pretty awesome now if you want to see how you can create some awesome face cam overlays with really simple plugins, check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better YouTuber or live streamer, subscribe to the channel. It's totally free. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.